Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an iPhone 12 Pro unboxing. Oh, and I'm so, so, so excited because obviously I'm excited to get the phone and I just... I just want to be appreciated. Can't wait. And I thought I'd show you guys this because I know a lot of people tend to like these videos and they like to see, you know, if the phone's actually worth it and all that fun stuff. So yeah, let's just get into the video so you guys can see the phone because that's what you're here for. Okay, so the phone comes in this box and the phone I got was the 12 Pro in silver. It has 128 gigs, which is really good because I used to have an iPhone 8. I actually still have it right here and it had 64 gigs, um, but I also had an 8, so it was a lot slower and the battery was not good at all. <laughs> One thing I just want to say is that I actually already opened the phone and stuff because I wanted the people at the store to um, switch my data because I didn't want to mess it up and that would suck. So when we open the phone, here's the phone. Pretend you didn't see that. Let's just, um, one second, redo that. Here's the phone. <laughs> Let's just pretend I didn't do any of that stuff. So here's the phone. It is this really pretty like white kind of color it's yeah it's more white than silver but on the sides you can see it is definitely silver and it has like this new look instead of you know like the curved phones why is my hand shaking instead of the curved phones it is more square like the first iphone and i know some people were like saying like why would you do that but it's a lot more sturdy than these ones like these ones are more flimsy and it's a bit heavier i would think well it's a lot bigger than this phone um, and you can also see the color difference and then obviously the cameras and I know the 12s also have the 5G and I haven't really um, seen it in use yet obviously um, because it's only working in like certain areas and obviously the battery is a lot better than my other phone. Yeah so then in the box is just this little thing and this you know has like a little instruction manual and all that stuff. And then has an Apple sticker, <laughs> has the pin to get out the SIM card. Then it comes with this cable and you've probably heard that this cable is different than the other one. So it is a USB-C, same plug goes into your phone, but this one is different. As you can tell, I actually have a charger, but it doesn't come with the box. So you will have to buy the box, but this is the box. If you were wondering at all, this is the box. Um, I already had a USB-C. Um, they actually work a lot faster. That's why all the new phones come with this. And they're like stronger. I don't really know. But yeah, the, all the new phones are going to be USB-C anyways. So I just bought one a while ago. Another thing that I know about the iPhone 12s is that they have MagSafe. So that's where it's like a magnet charger and it literally sticks to your phone and charges it. But I don't have that right now. I will probably put on my christmas list or something and this is a huge upgrade for me because the 8 still has like a home button and all that stuff and it like the screen is a lot smaller and so when i did face id it was just kind of crazy and i still don't really know where every button is so i'm gonna show you guys kind of what my phone looks like on the inside but that's just my lock screen because it is already set up but everything transferred but none of my widgets really transferred so this is kind of just what it looks like. It's really ugly. I still have to set it up and stuff. So if you want a what's on my iPhone 12 Pro video, comment down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, but the big thing for me was the camera and it is kind of crazy because there are so many different things. So yeah, you can do like 0.5, 1, and then two times so it's, the zoom is insane for every like photo video and all that stuff there is like 0.5 1 and 2 and it zooms in and it zooms in a lot so the zoom on this phone is very 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 clear so that's my chalkboard and it is just like right now it's in 5.8 times and that's the most you can go but it's very clear okay and then we can go on to myself hi guys and you can zoom out. I think the iPhone 11 has this too. I'm not sure, but. Oh. I had a eight, so my phone had nothing. 
but then there's video which the quality is so good like that's insane at nighttime the photos are literally insane i will insert a picture right here and the quality doesn't look very good but i swear this photo was taken in the dark so it was pitch black outside and it literally looks very light outside so the nighttime photos are insane and that is one thing that i noticed and i was like that's literally it's literally crazy okay sorry i was literally filming and then this phone ran out of storage so i had to delete a few things but one thing i noticed is that this the iphone x kind of puts like a filter over my face i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of like airbrushes my face where the 12 pro does not do that so it does not make you look airbrushed just kind of sucks um no but it's like very detailed and it will get into little details of your face which isn't always good but um obviously if that's what you want it's very good um so the last thing i want to do was show you guys my little case so i just got an otter box case because a phone provider that i have they actually gave me like 50 percent off of a case and i already ordered one from wildflower and i ordered like screen protector um on amazon but they're not coming for another two days and i was like i don't know if i can survive without a case so i just got this otterbox like sparkly case but problem with this case is that it literally is impossible to put on and put off it is so hard and I will show you guys in a second, but it is just so hard. So I just wanted to warn you guys before you get these. This is like the Otterbox Symmetry case. It's not like that. It's not protective. They're super protect. They're super protective, but they just are very hard to get on and off. So just wanted to warn you guys about that. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this case on because it is literally so hard. Okay, I swear. So I'm just going to start by putting it in here. So the top part is easy. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys this. It is so hard. And then I'm just gonna push it kind of in. Kind of gotta use a little bit of force, which is really scary, but I'm like struggling to show you guys. Get it right. Okay, got it. Um, so yeah, once you use force, you can get it on there. And then it looks like that, but without that i wouldn't know what to do that's what i like about the 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 hard edges is that it's not as flimsy so your phone won't like bend or anything if you're trying to get into a case um compared to like for something like this i feel like it can bend kind of easier but yeah that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and you want to see my face more and comment down below any videos that you guys would like to see um, yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next video.